in order to get the latest feature pack updates on my Niztune Type 3 board for my KA24DE, I recently purchased a base image programmer, as you can see here. I have already um, desoldered, let's see if I can get that in focus there, the uh, J1 jumper, and I have soldered the PGM link. The programmer is plugged into my laptop and showing up as COM23 on ports. Got the program open. Got type 3 selected. Uh, as you can see, COM23 there. So, first thing I'm going to do is just hit the initialize button. Try and get this thing to focus. There we go. So hit the initialize button. LEDs flash as you would expect. So good to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the board, the Type 3 board. I have trouble seeing it while holding the phone. Okay, there we go. Okay, everything's plugged up good. BCC light is now on. So, looking at my software here. Type 3, COM23, I'm going to go ahead and open the file that I need. This is a 53F01 base image according to what's written on the board. So the feature pack will be the 53F0F. So I'll go ahead and open that. Everything should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and program it now. see the LEDs flashing, send and receiving, CS LEDs flashing. <laughs> Status bars going through programming. Power cycle, now it's verifying the MV NVRAM. Alright, now we've got success. Unsolder PGM jumper, solder ECU jumper. Now, here's the documentation that I've got open for, for uh, programming these boards. So I've highlighted there, once programming is complete, it says make sure VCC LED is off before removing board. Well, even though it says success on the software, my VCC, if I can get this thing to focus, come on. There it is. My BCC LED is still on. I am putting a motor back together and have changed a lot of stuff and I'm having trouble getting it, uh, getting the ignition timing set and I've never had this much trouble with ignition timing getting set before. So I'm not sure if this is an issue. Um, this is not the first time I've programmed this board. I just wanted to make a little video showing me programming it and what is happening. Um, this VCC LED staying on may not be an issue. I'm not sure. The, the software says it successfully uh, upgraded the firmware. But like I said, I'm having issues with getting this new motor started and I just want to verify that this is not indicating some type of problem with the board.